This video begins the Strong Encryption section with AES. The topics are AES and Private Key Encryption, the key and block size, how to implement AES in Python, and confusion and diffusion. AES is the Advanced Encryption Standard approved by the United States National Institute of Standards and considered very secure. It's approved even for the storage of military secret information. It is private key cryptography, which is the kind of cryptography that has been used for thousands of years in which both the sender and the receiver use the same key. It's a block cipher, so the input data has to be put in blocks 128 bits long, and a block of plain text is encrypted with a key, producing a block of cipher text. There are three key sizes, 128, 192, and 256 bits. The most common type of AES is the 128-bit key size, and that's what we're going to use here. In Python, it's quite easy to use. You import the AES module from crypto.cipher. Then you need a 16-byte key and plain text, which is some integral multiple of 16 bytes. You create a new AES object with the key, and then calculate it with cipher.encrypt. This gives you a 16-byte string, which may be unprintable, so it's best to encode it as hex to print it out. And of course, if you decrypt it, you get back to your original plain text. This has many desirable cryptographic properties, and one of them is confusion. If you change a bit of the key, it changes the entire ciphertext. So if I change the key from KEY to KEX, you see all of the ciphertext changes. It starts with 433 and ends in 6A8. Now it starts with 91D and ends in D7F. This is what you want. Two very similar keys produce completely different results, so you cannot find any pattern in the results that you could use to deduce information about the key. Similarly, diffusion is a desirable property, where if you encrypt something twice with the same key, but you change even one bit of the plain text, again, the entire ciphertext changes. So here I have bytes, and I get the same 433 ending in 6A8. If I change the last letter to a T, now it starts with 90C and ends with 5D2. So all of it changes. Let's take a look at that in Python. Here I've got my terminal window. I start Python, and I'll start off by pasting in some stuff from the clipboard. So I import the AES module. I have 16 bytes of key, and I have 16 bytes of plain text. I create an AES object, encrypt it, and then print out the hex value of it here. Now, if I change the key, go up to my key line and change that to say Z, and then do it again, creating a new AES object with that key, and performing the encryption and printing out the results again, you see everything is different. It now starts with B, it ends with 4, it's all changed. And if I leave the key where it is and I change the plain text, go back to find that, there it is. So let's change that to an F. And now if I encrypt that and print out the result in hexadecimal, once again everything has changed, even though this is the same key as the one above it. So this shows both confusion and diffusion, which are desirable properties.